So you have the function, and this time the function is g of x is 4x minus 5 between minus 4 and 2. So the domain is our inputs, and we're going to put in x is minus 4, x is minus 3, x is minus 2, x is minus 1, x is 0, x is 1, and x is 2. So they're the domain. So that there is our domain or our inputs. Okay? Our function is 4x minus 5. Okay? So the first one will be 4 and in brackets. Okay? 4 and in brackets minus 5, etc. And the numbers we get out here from here are called our outputs. Okay? Our outputs or easier refer to them as our x numbers. And over here we get our y values because we're going to use them to draw the graph. Okay? So the first one, x is minus 4 in brackets which gives me equal to minus 21, okay? Minus three in brackets, which gives me equal to minus 70. When x is minus two, four, and in brackets is minus two, minus five, which is minus 13. So four, and in brackets, minus one. So the x value is all the changes minus 5, which is equal to minus 9. 4 times 0, minus 5, which is equal to minus 5. So our point there would be 0 and minus 5. 4 and x is 1, minus 5, which gives me minus 1. And when x is 2, 4 times 2 is 8, 5 which would be plus 3. Now, this graph has loads of minuses for you, okay? So, we're not going to be able to get up to 21 boxes on our page. So what I would suggest we do this time is, this is our x, this is our y. So rather than trying to get it up or down to 21, okay, this time what I'm going to do, I'm going to make this a little bit longer, I'm going to go 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, 1, and 2. And on the y-axis I'm going to go Minus 2, minus 4, minus 6, minus 8, minus 10, minus 12, minus 14, minus 16, minus 18, minus 20, and minus 22. And I'm going to go 2 and 4. Okay? So that means all my points are going to be down below on the graph. So minus 4, minus 4 on the x, down to minus 21, which will be somewhere between minus 20 and minus 22. Okay, minus 3, minus 17, which will be somewhere minus 2 and minus 13, minus 1 and minus 9, and 0 and minus 5. 1 and minus 1, 2 up as far as 3. So that there gives me my line, which is my function g of x equal to 4x minus 5 between minus 4 and 2.